All right, we're here with my 1967 Rockwell lathe, and it's before Rock before it was purchased by uh, Delta, so should just be should be before just a Rockwell. As you can see, there's no deltas on here. But anyways, what I wanted to show in, in this video is uh, how the thing gets oil, and the oil system on this is just simply a splash system. There is no oil pump. It just simply follows the gears up because the gears are partially submersed in oil and that's how that's how your bearings get oil it splashes up on top drips down runs into the bearing same thing back here it also drips into this tube follows this tube down and runs out and oils this back here so uh, let me fire this thing up in back gear and I can show you because we can run it in back gear we can't run it in direct drive because oil would go up to the ceiling. And that's at the moderate speeds. So we'll fire this thing up and make sure we got it at the slowest speed because it will spit oil out in back here if it's in the faster speeds. And we're ready to go. There you can see it getting oil. See nothing splashing off middle gear or this gear. You also notice you also notice down here there's a hole. You'll notice that's not spinning, but this over here is. There's two bronze bushings in there, and the only way that gets oil is oil getting in that hole. And obviously you can see in back gear it's not getting oil. So it's just residual oil left over from when you was running it in direct drive. Or, if you're running this thing at its fastest speed in back gear, it will get oil back there. But it actually doesn't get it off this gear. It just simply splashes so much oil in here, it starts running down over the edge and manages to get into that hole right there. Although, I think it's a design flaw because, like I said, that's the only time it gets oil. But it actually has two holes in it. It has that one there, which will be the hole that's pointing to get oil on it from this gear and back gear, which it won't. And then you got this hole here, which will actually be the direct drive. The oil, the hole the oil will go in in direct drive. So uh, let's fire this thing up in direct drive. That way you can see what the oil does. All right, let me go get my umbrella. I'm joking. I made a piece of plastic for on top of it. it had a little, little dust on it. And I poked a couple holes in it just to make sure the oil, the oil splashes up pretty, pretty vigorously. I wanted to make sure things stayed where they're supposed to stay. I could have just laid a weight on it, but I figured it would be better clarity if I just put a couple bolts in it. Of course, you can see the reflection. It's the fall of the year. No, or not fall, sorry, it's midwinter. But anyways, uh, let's fire this up and give you guys a look in there. Now this is direct drive. Now you can see we got some happenings going on here. You'll see it run down this tube. There it goes. Then you'll see it drip out back here. You'll see it drip out that little tiny hole, and then you'll see it drip out the back. The back of that tube's open. There's the tiny hole, and now it should run out. There it's running out. Now what that what that study stream back there is moving is again once this thing's in back gear or neutral. It's spinning separate, so you need to get oil in that hole to lube up. There's a bronze bushing in there. So that's why that tube's like that, so it periodically oils that. However, when it's in direct drive, it actually doesn't need to get oil in there because it's all turning together. The only time that's slipping is when it's in neutral or back gear. So uh, let's turn it back on and really get some oil splashing. As you can see that middle gear is well, even in slower speed, I guess it's getting a little oil, a little oil into this hole right here. But if we get any RPMs to it, 
weekend. Now you see her flinging and flinging and flinging and flinging. You see there's not a whole lot going on back here. That's a paper towel. Plenty of oil up here. Plenty of oil running out of that too. All right. Now, I want to put it back in back gear, but I've got my uh, window all oiled up, so I got to clean some oil off for clarity for you peoples. And of course, my paper towel got blowed away. Actually, I think I might be able to squeegee some of that off of there. Yeah, I got a little bit. Yeah, that kind of worked. Let me wipe this area right here off. Hopefully I can get it where it's not blurry. If not, I'll make another video and splice it in here. All right, that should be good. All right, now let me demonstrate back gear again. Neutral, engage back gear, turn it on, and you can see that hole's not getting any oil. So if you're running in back gear a long time, you're not going. Eventually, the oil's going to run out in there. I don't know how long it's going to take. Days, hours, weeks? I don't know. But if you would come down and speed it up to its fastest speed, you will see that you'll start getting oil in there. Oil. You can see really getting oil over here. So that's how shut this noisy thing off over here. So that's uh that's how your oil works in these things. Just thought it'd be interesting to show people because if they know how it works, then they can uh, better keep an eye on it. So, anyways, that's how the oil works. Thanks for watching. And like uh, like I always say, the reason I make these videos is just to basically help people know what they're getting into, know what they're working with.